Hi, I'm Jeff, and welcome to another video in my series called Just One Book. In this series, I look at all the new comic books coming out on either September 22nd or 23rd, 2020, and I ask myself the question, what one comic book would I buy if I could buy just one book? Now, I'm recording this video on September 19th. It is Batman Day. Happy Batman Day to you. It is quite possible that this influenced my decision just a little bit. Um, usually I start off with some honorable mentions, but this week I'm just going to jump right into my pick. And my pick this week, if I could buy just one book, is Dark Knight's Death Metal, Speed Metal. Now I'm going to admit that I am already fully invested in this storyline. Uh, I have been picking up these Art Germ covers. Uh, which I think are fantastic. I think Art Germ is fantastic, and I'm going to go all Art Germ all the way on this Death Metal series um, because he's great, and these covers are super. Uh, and also, I started picking up this series because I didn't want to start a new series, frankly, but I thought, it's a limited series. I'll be fine. It's just going to be a few issues, right? No big deal. No, no, no. It's, it's a whole thing. You got to pick up these uh, one-shot little side issues as well. I thought maybe I could get away not reading them, but no, they're essential to the storyline and must-haves. So another reason, uh, well actually, excuse me, the main reason that I started reading this series was because of all the spec talk around this character, the Robin King, whose first appearance is in this book right here. In fact, I went all in on Robin King first. People were very hot for this cover because it's amazing, so I understand that, so I picked this up as well. And I even surprised myself by going ahead and picking up this guy. Yeah, I picked up the 1 in 25 of Legends of the Dark Knights as well. So yes, I am fully invested in this storyline. But I gotta say, even though I picked it up for the spec reason, mostly at first, I have to say, I am really enjoying this storyline. It's a lot of fun, and fun is paramount in my life, and I'm having a lot of fun reading this story. It's so large, and it is so kind of like extreme, and the stakes are so high um, that I just, I really enjoy it for that reason. But I also really enjoy the fact that they've injected it with a healthy dose of humor. In a lot of ways, this storyline is on the verge of being ridiculous. And the writer understands that. And so has put in just straight up humor to let you know, yeah, I know this is ridiculous. Yeah, I know there's a Batman T-Rex. Let's have fun with this. And the fact that they have put that in there has allowed me to have fun with it. And so I'm really enjoying reading the story and I'm interested in seeing where it's going to go. But frankly, me just liking the story is not the reason that Speed Metal is my pick this week. Speed Metal's my pick is because I think it's going to be very important in the overall death metal storyline. Why? Because of this guy right here, Wally West. Now in this comic book, flash forward number six, Wally West gets the powers of Dr. Manhattan. And if you know anything about Dr. Manhattan or the Watchmen series, you'll know that Dr. Manhattan powers are no joke. And when I first saw this comic book, I asked myself, well, what are they going to do with that? What is the point of giving him these powers? Well, now we're going to find out. Because I don't want to spoil too much, but in Death Metal, the Batman Who Laughs has a bad day when he runs across uh, Wonder Woman at one point. He has to kind of go to his plan B, which is to put his brain into the body of a Bruce Wayne from his reality that, was a, that had Dr. Manhattan's powers. When he did that, the Batman Who Laughs got Dr. Manhattan's powers, and he became what is now known as the Darkest Knight. Now, you would think that would be good enough for him, but it's not. He feels that if he is able to get Wally West and to steal his Dr. Manhattan powers, he will become unstoppable. And the heroes, I believe, tend to agree. So right now, Wally West and members of the Flash family that you see here on the cover are fleeing from the Darkest Knight and from his Lightning Knights. And um, because if they don't, he's going to steal Wally's powers, essentially killing him. And the thing is, 
Batman Who Laughs, a.k.a. The Darkest Night, and these Lightning Knights are catching up to the Flash family. So at some point, they're going to have to stop running, and they're going to have to turn and fight. And I'm very interested in seeing how that plays out. I have a distinct feeling that some members of the Flash family are not going to leave this fight unscathed. So I'm really interested in seeing how that's all going to play out. And is the Darkest Knight going to get Wally's powers and become seemingly unstoppable? And if not, you know, how are the Flash family going to stop the Darkest Knight and at what cost? I think that this is a really important issue. And frankly, it's like halfway in the main death metal storyline. We only have three issues. We still have up to seven to go. So we still got a lot of story to go, but this seems like it's gonna be like so important for the overarching story and where it's going to go. And for all those reasons, all that excitement I have about this uh, series in general and for this issue in particular is why I have chosen Dark Knight's Death Metal, Speed Metal as my book this week if I could buy just one book. Now you may be watching this video and you might be like, Jeff, that was a perfect pick. Well done, sir. Speed Metal is absolutely the one book to buy this week. Please put it down in the comments and let me know that you support my decision, that you agree with me. Or... More likely, you think I'm nuts, and you're like, ah, oh, Jeff, there's so many better books out there. That book is garbage, and I'd much prefer to buy this other book if I could buy just one book. I would love to hear what that one book is. Please put it in the comments. I would love to hear what your pick is. As always, if you like this video, a like is always appreciated very much. It really encourages me, and I'm going to admit something to you all. Um, the viewership of these videos is kind of diminishing week to week, so it's possible people aren't so into it. I may stop making these videos. So if you're a fan of these videos and for some reason you just are desperate or you just really want me to continue making them, uh, I might suggest sharing these with your friends, uh, sharing them on uh, social media, letting people know that you're into it so we can try to get more people in. Also, if you haven't already done so, I definitely recommend subscribing. Hit the subscribe guy right over there. And of course, turn on the notification bell so you make sure you don't miss this video when it comes out. As always, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.